All right, hey guys. Um, I want to make this statement an apology. Um, this is really hard for me to talk about, so I'm just going to try to power through this and get everything that's been on my mind uh, off of it. The way that I've approached content has greatly changed over my career, and I feel like I really lost touch with the reason that I first began broadcasting. I haven't been interacting and engaging with the chat uh, the same way that I was before and the same way that I know I'm capable of doing. I'm going to walk through how we got to this moment and the realization that I had last night and I spent most night uh, thinking about it. When I first began broadcasting, I had three very simple goals. I wanted to make a living out of it. I wanted to be as interactive as possible. And I wanted to provide a friendly, non-confrontational environment for people to come, relax, and enjoy. And I was very firm on all of that, and I uh, spent the first half of my career being extremely interactive and engaging and developing real relationships with the people that watch my content. As my stream grew, it became a lot more stressful. There were a lot more problems in chat. There was a lot more uh, issues and uh, stuff that went wrong in really stressful nights. And I eventually reached a point where I couldn't take it anymore. And that's when I decided to use the sub-only mode. Uh, I stand behind that decision. I do believe that sub-only uh, provides a wonderful place for this community to thrive. But it also changed a lot of things for me when that happened. Um, after going sub only, I felt like a big weight was lifted off my shoulders because there wasn't so many problems in chat, but it came with a lot of problems as well. Um, I was inundated with an extreme amount of information, love and hate, and everybody's opinions on what was right and what was wrong. I was one of the first channels to use the sub only feature, and uh, the amount of hate I got uh, from people that I considered my friends and people that have been watching me and supporting me from day one uh, to tell me that I was a greedy bastard and all I cared about was money. I got really angry when that happened. I got infuriated that people didn't understand that uh, I was a human being and I was struggling and I was having a really hard time and I needed, I needed closure and a friendly environment for myself. And because of that, I stopped trusting people. And that's really what I'm apologizing for. I stopped trusting people and I stopped believing in people and stopped producing content the same way. In addition to that, going sub only changed the nature of the chat. I no longer had uh, that driving control to uh, curb the way people think and to Everybody was just friendly and there wasn't that many problems and I kind of just kind of just let stuff go. Cuz I mean, how do you time out people in sub only mode? Do you deserve to do that? Is it right? Is it wrong? I didn't know and I just kind of took a back seat and started letting chat engage me rather than me engage the chat. I became so overwhelmed in that moment that I even I stopped talking to people that I considered good friends. I became agoraphobic. I had a fear of trusting people, a fear of letting people in, a fear of wanting to find friends or even develop any relationships with people. So I felt like I couldn't trust them. And over time, my content changed to the point where I was no longer engaging and I no longer wanted that relationship that made streaming what it was for me. I love interacting with people and uh, I gave up on that. I'm sorry. I'm not looking for validation. and I don't really want to hear people's opinions. It's the same thing. I know you hear a lot of, oh, it's fine, Frag, and everything's cool. It's not cool to me because I know that I can do better. And I know what I'm capable of as not only a content producer, but a person. Um, I want to start reestablishing those relationships and engaging chat and start trusting people again. 
I was in the shower last night and I realized that I've done all these wonderful things for the content and I have these cosplays and I'm doing all this great stuff, but the missing piece was me that I, I just stopped. And I can't be happy producing content unless I have that relationship with the people in the chat, not just as a community, but individuals as well. So I hope you guys understand. I just really, uh, I had a breaking point last night and I realized, uh, I realized it was my bad and I was the person that put up that wall in between me and the people in my channel. And it's not fair. People in the channel are great. The chat's awesome. Uh, surrounded by wonderful and lovely people. And I shouldn't put up that wall anymore. So that's my statement and apology. I hope you guys understand. Um, I'm going to end the broadcast right here and make this a highlight. The stream will be back in 10 to 15 minutes and we'll continue. I want to be the guy. But uh, thank you for listening. I just need to get that off my chest because it's been really bugging me. So uh, thanks for listening. Catch you guys in a few.